Okay, for this third installment of the Construct Tools, uh, this is probably the most one of the most interesting tools for me, one of the most uh, maybe helpful tools in terms of building something, uh, a part that you're going to 3D print out for some other larger project. So this is called the Revolve Tool. And the way it works is you create a shape, and then you indicate a point of axis or a point of rotation, and then you curve the shape around that axis. So we're going to start with, I'm going to look, from the top view, and we're going to start with the, a polyline. And I'm going to click here and just create some kind of unique shape here, like this. Mm, okay. like that. And then I'm going to create another line that's just going to give me a point of axis. So like that. And then I'm going to say construct revolve. And again, just like the previous video on sweep, this is going to ask you for two things. So you'll see highlighted here the, the term profile. So I'm going to pick the profile. And then it's going to ask, ask for the axis. So I'm going to click on that. And this becomes my point of axis. And so if you'll notice here, what it's going to do is it's going to say, OK, now that you have your shape and you have the axis about which it's going to rotate, either go ahead and do it manually. Let's see, do that right there. Or go ahead and type in a value. And so I'm just going to type in 360 and hit return. And so from that, I've created this really kind of cool disk that now I can rotate. Let's see if I can get a better angle here this time. I can rotate like this, and I can bring it up. And just like that, I've created this sort of unique, unique shape here that uh, can then be 3D printed out. One of the things that we'll talk about later with 3D printing is the 45 degree rule. And uh, I'll just mention it now, but it's the idea that when you create things in 3D for printing, you don't want the angle to be so much so that the printer doesn't have anything to grab onto. What happens is the printer will start to print out an object that sags if it's more than 45 degrees, and so or actually less than 45 degrees if you're coming from the bottom. But in this case, this one looks pretty smooth and can be printed without supports. So that is revolve.